Vipers over the past 10 games, six and four, second place in the Southwest Division. Uh, how are things going with the team? Uh, it's been a while since we've talked to you, but you guys have uh, appeared to be playing uh, much better basketball with the, you know, over the last 10, going six and four. Yeah, we've been uh, six and four in the last 10. You know, we're just trying to improve each and every day, get better. Uh, you know, every opportunity that we have, whether it's uh, you know, a practice or a game situation. Well, you got to give you a little bit more than that. What is it that you guys are trying to prove on? Is it still the defense? Last time we talked, it's like you were talking about better defense being consistent for four quarters. Yeah, so we're just trying to be, uh, you know, just, just locked in for 48 minutes like you talked about right there. You know, our defense needs to improve, um, you know, and, and we've got back to playing fast again. There was a, a little uh, stretch where we played a little too slow on the offensive end. Uh, we've ramped it up a little bit more, playing a little faster, have a lot more pace, um, and then just dialed in with with energy and effort on the defensive end, and you know sticking to our game plan and our principles, and you know hopefully for a positive result. No Montrez, no Sam Decker, no KJ McDaniel, so limited NBA experience for this team. So you're going with all pretty much all NBA D players except for uh, Jordan Hamilton. Um, for now, it seems like it anyway. Yeah, no, it's, it's our roster right now. Uh, you know, it changes all the time. That's mm -hmm. the beauty of the D League. You know, it was, it was good to have the. The Rockets assign, me, assign you guys the last uh, two games with us, um, you know, all three of them for one and, and Sam for the, the previous game. So it's always good to have those guys with their experience and, you know, their, their basketball IQ and their talent level. Um, but, but also we got a great group of guys here, uh, you know, with the Vipers in the D-League here that, you know, we're a confident group and, you know, our guys have been together uh, for most of the season, you know, with the addition of Jordan Hamilton that we, you know, added a couple games ago. But, you know, guys that like to play together, um, and play the right way together. So it's always uh, it's always good to have our, our core group together too, because uh, you know we're talented as, as well. If, even if we don't have assignment guys. Do you know if the uh, Montrez or, or or Sam or KJ come back at all, or any indication on that right now? No idea. No That's, idea. Uh, okay. You know, management's decisions right there. We just go with uh, whoever we've got on the roster that night. And you know, tonight it's our uh, our ten D league guys that are active. Tonight. And, and the good news is that the bench bench players a couple of games back against Grand Rapids, the bench scored seventy seven points. So you know, you can go with just about anybody, and you're going to mm -hmm. be okay. So. Yeah, no, we got we got talent on our roster. You know, we got. You know, good guys coming off the bench, good guys starting where it's, uh, you know, no problem with us with uh, with what we've got. We, I know, I know myself and the staff, well, we love our roster right now, so it's, uh, you know, no problems with that. Jarvis Threat seems to be playing uh, much better basketball. He's one of those off the bench that has been playing very, very well. Uh, talk to me a little bit about his game. The past couple of games, he scored over 20 points, so that, that has to be good. Yeah, Jarvis just has a knack for uh, for scoring, getting to the free throw line. You know, he's, he's fast, he plays with pace. He, he can play the point, uh, you know, just by himself. Him and Will can both be in the game. One can be the point, one can be off the ball. So he gives a little versatility to us. You know, he's got good length on the defensive end, too, that, you know, when he's dialed in and engaged, he can, uh, you know, put some pressure on opposing point guards and, you know, let Will, uh, you know, guard guard a guy off the ball a little bit so he, you know, doesn't have as much, uh, much wear and tear throughout the whole game. And, uh, you know, we can kind of juggle those two guys back and forth. Uh, Oklahoma City playing them tonight, two and one against them. Uh, what are you expecting from them tonight? Because they're in the same division as the RGB Vipers, so they're going to be coming after you guys. Yeah, they're they're definitely challenged. They're they're a good team. They've got guys that have, uh, you know, NBA experience in bikes and Bison, uh, you know, Marcus Teague. Um, that you know they're going to come in hungry. This is a, a chance for them too to uh, to prove themselves. And you know, any game in the D League is is a battle. That's for sure. So it's a uh, it'll be a good uh, good contest tonight. That's for sure. All right, coach. Thank you very much. Sounds good. Have a good one.